what got me interested in uh, uh, doing uh, uh, using Unreal Engine instead of Unity is that in Unity uh, I had to do I didn't use like blueprints or anything like visual coding I used uh, C sharp which is uh, a plus for Unity it's actually easier to understand than C++ the language used on uh, uh, in Unreal Engine and um, Unity uh, to be honest had this quirks for everything you wanted like you, if you wanted third person uh, a controller you have to buy it and it's not cheap and it's hard to find ones I ended finding uh, one by Obsiv I think called character th a third person character controller it's quite low but very hard to understand uh, the developer is active but it's not built into the engine you know with the uh, only most things are built into the engine that's what i liked i uh, with uh, unity i always found that i have to do tricks to get what i wanted it's nice at the end i managed to do a game i'll show it to you so it's not very massive uh, to be honest if you want to develop a game i don't suggest like creating your characters uh, the environment at first it's very hard. Game development takes time. Even big studio takes like five, six years. Think of GTA. Uh, it, I know it's a big uh, example and a huge example, but it takes time. There's like 20, 30, 40, 100 people working on games. You're just a solo developer. You have to cut corners. You will the end user. Doesn't really care if you use asset, but you have to be creative in the way you use them. Uh, they won't know. The average player won't realize that you use asset. Most of them don't. Uh, but you have to be uh, careful in choosing the assets that match each other not like choosing a building from the uh, 12th uh, century and putting it in a modern game they have to be consistent uh, that takes me to another point uh, while i why i jumped to uh, Unreal engine is the pipelines in unity are uh, there's a lot of pipelines there's, there's like the standard uh, mode that like right, the mode that supports high definition uh, i think they call it hdrp and uh, um, it's hard to find assets that support it i'm talking about a couple of years back i don't know if it's changed now uh, and if you had one you have to convert them and they convert nicely uh, so it's a lot of trouble i noticed that uh most people use it for like 2d games that's easier and better maybe uh, than unreal engine but for 3d games out of the box i think uh, Unreal engine is better it has better graphics out of the box now with lumen and nanite for those of you who don't know lumens like the global illumination is real time you don't have to bake lighting like in uh, unity uh, it's just plug and play um, now it's even supported in VR. Uh, Nanite is like clever way of uh, uh, replacing LODs. LODs are uh, level of details for those who don't know. It's like if you have a character or the building, let's say, and uh, uh, you can't like jam a lot of them uh, into the scene, or the performance will suffer if they uh, read on and the processing in general. So you have to like uh, bi the, the uh, same model built like uh, three, four, five different models uh, and render them to the screen depending on the distance the player is from the object. For example, you show a high resolution when you're close and a less resolution one uh, when you're far away to enhance performance and uh, visual uh, aspect as well. Uh, so it's uh, hard to develop uh, uh, to be honest like one model for everything as a solo developer and then have to go to like develop five or i know there's like i think they call them decimation tools or like with the ones that decrease uh vertices uh, like uh, the count of vertices and um, um, but to be honest they always uh, lower the quality and if you doing it to character use like morphs and uh, a lot of the animations or the joints get weird so but with nanite uh, no this is like all behind you just do one uh, uh, model and the engine takes care of creating the uh, assets and then link them 
depending on the distance the player is or what's shown on screen. So all in all, uh, this is like the, uh, the main reasons. The first thing is like I told you out of the box, uh, and the engine is much better, it's more realistic. Uh, don't get me wrong, Unity can reach similar height, similar graphic fidelity, but it needs a lot of plugging, a lot of tweaking. You have to know which assets to uh, select, which ones to buy, which uh, project, uh, uh, Unity project to uh, pipeline to select. Uh, it's quite a hassle, to be honest. Um, that's uh, one of the main reasons, to be honest, I switched to Unreal Engine. Uh, so let's see, there's also meta humans, which is very realistic humans. I know I'm gonna use Daz mostly. Uh, I'm gonna use Daz uh, for specific reasons. The game I'm gonna develop, I wanna go into details what I'm gonna develop because I'm, I'm probably gonna change the scope. But uh, it's, there's gonna be a lot, uh, like character, uh, um, like uh, modification, customization, like clothes, the character. Uh, has to be uh, get bigger smaller using morphs uh, there's a lot of animations for it that I can transfer uh, so but I'm gonna use also meta humans so I'm gonna like trans some way convert that into human and place them as clouds because meta humans are more uh, optimized for games that's uh, characters are not uh, they will work but if you have too many I think they're gonna degrade performance. Uh, I have, uh, I, you can start working like this in the first person template, this is the first person template, not the third person, I'm gonna just go and start a new one now. Uh, you can go here and there's like Quixel Bridge, you have like a lot of assets for the uh, Unreal Boat uh, Quixel Bridge uh, lately, it has like a lot of free stuff, you can like materials, uh, furniture, the walls, there's a lot of things. You can download it for free. Then there's the meta human aspect here. You see, that, that's pretty nice to be honest. You can like customize them and stuff for like every single detail. I'm gonna go into this in the future. This is the one in the Matrix Awakens demo. Uh, most actually uh, characters were done in meta humans, even Keanu Reeves was somewhat done. It's very realistic to be honest. If you're gonna see, I'm gonna check and see if I, I can find a video. Uh, but uh, uh, they use the workflow they used for meta humans, they didn't use the actual web interface or the interface in, for meta humans to do it, but they used the workflow they used for meta humans to uh, do the uh, Keanu Reeves. Uh, character uh, so we, we've uh, talked about graphics we talked about gameplay we talked about assets uh, a few I think unity has more assets but many of them are bad quality to be honest uh, and the engine have fewer some of them are very high quality to be honest some of them are free by epic itself we don't need a lot of assets uh, to do a good game and coupled with nanite, lumen, metahuman, uh, there's a lot of things. I, I don't want to worry about uh, a lot about doing environment and like calculating uh, uh, how many vertices, how many triangles, how many. I oh know. I know most designers would agree. So this is the game I did in Unity. I know it's not much to be honest, but. Uh, I did this in one and a half months. This includes learning uh, uh, Unity from scratch. So the game probably took me less, maybe one month, because it took me two weeks, I think, to learn Unity. W uh, how I learned Unity now, the thing is I just uh, had like a guide on the interface, it, like took me like half a day or less, a few hours. Then I followed one game tutorial. I forgot its name and that got me started. Uh, so I'm gonna do the same for Unreal. I actually did the same for Unreal. Uh, I watched the the. Let me take you to to it and see. Not this one. All right. So this is it. 
this is the first game I did so I'm gonna show it to you now so the uh, this one here I suggest ev everyone who wants to learn uh, UE to start with this one because I started I know what it is I can explain it uh, it took it's like one and a half hour it took me like two days I think to complete it uh, with three days max no it, it won't take from you that long but because I, I I took a lot of breaks I had other stuff to do so mostly this one will cover let me tell you working with lightning uh, mixture this is how you create the sky clouds action lightning and stuff uh, so I, uh, this is like, like creating basic landscape how to create landscape importing static meshes and textures and how to ma manipulate them and use them how to like materialize the uh, character uh, with how you work with the poly meshes using nanite you this will show you how to import like a rock with a lot of details using nanite and uh, it will show you how it will minimize it uh, and shows you how you can basically like put the hunters of rocks maybe if you put one of those rocks in unity it will crash uh, show you how to make a like a basic character controlling attach camera to the character create character animations and uh, use the same character as AI bot and change make it more dynamic change the color of it uh, adding like uh, simple game uh, logic like spawning uh, pickable objects uh, uh, and like do some mechanisms like door opening platform where it's triggered by platform so that's all I know it's basic but this will give you insight of the basic things to do and most of these are in most games so I also have to work with the particle uh, systems called Niagara and uh, Unreal Engine and how you can like attach dust particles to the feet using key frames in the animation uh, also the uh, good thing to know is uh, this how do you can get the actual files so after you follow this go to this link and download the uh, before you actually follow it download this this has the assets you need for the game it's very hard this will show you how to get the assets to be honest because uh, it's not illustrated here uh, I don't wanna like uh, record this uh, because it's it will show you yeah, how to do it fast blueprints are uh, yeah also how to use blueprint which is but the main reason I want to try also I'm not planning to use C++ now and to be honest I'm pl I want to try my best to do a game without it I might use it and it's good to know it but you can I know many successful people who did and released games I forgot the name of the game maybe it's uh, three something he, he didn't use any code and it's a very successful game he put like uh, a lot of money out of it it's just using blueprints so this is just a plus also for the Unreal Engine uh, Unity recently bought like uh, visual scripting it's called uh, uh, I think Bolt yeah Bolt uh, I think it's good but not as good as the uh, on the engine blueprint coming up next is how to install the DAS to Unreal plugin extension stay tuned and thanks for watching the video please like and subscribe so I make more videos like this thanks a lot